this is a, a playing card deck that I got. I, I've had it for quite some time. And uh, let me see if... It's called the Dragon Age Inquisition. So I feel like you might like this deck. So I'm not reading the actual, you know, cards. I'm reading the pictures, okay? And I use this to complement the, um, the traditional tarot readings. So this is the card that really concerned me because I feel like the message based on the tarot basically indicates that you cannot help other people until you help yourself first. And when you are suffering from, you know, physical, physical like symptoms, physical ailments, when you are suffering spiritually and emotionally, you're not in the best position to help other people. Okay, so you need to focus on yourself. You need to take care of yourself first before you can take care of other people. So that was the message overall in the tarot portion. But this is something that runs a little bit deeper. And let me just talk about, you know, the, the, the picture. This is somebody that's very hurt, right? And you can tell that the, uh, the mouth is covered up. So on the one hand, I feel like you, you, you have dealt with a lot of pain. And I feel that it could be physical in terms of, you know, swords. It could be something like emotional in terms of feeling betrayed. It could also be like, um, dealing with a lot of disappointment where we, things did not go our way. But either way, th there's a lot of frustration. There's a lot of pain in this, um, card. And the fact that the mouth is covered up basically means that you have never talked about these pains to other people. You were very alone going through it. You might have also experienced it at a very young age when you couldn't make sense of it. There might have been fear for retaliation for whatever reason. So you never told anybody about it. So I'm seeing, honestly, there's a lot of things here that screams to me abuse, verbal abuse, physical abuse, sexual, whatever the situation is. And uh, I feel that you've lived with, you know, you, you, you've lived with the pain for quite some time to the point where um, it becomes like the new normal, right? And so this next card that's coming through basically indicates to me like trapped energy, okay? So this is sort of like um, we're trying to live our lives based on the constraints, some, some physical, some external constraints. And uh, if you you see this person is kind of like behind that fence or in front of the fence, but it's almost like trapped energy. Energy needs to go somewhere. So if there has been a lot of trauma, it needs to be talked about. It needs to be resolved. It needs to be healed. Because that energy, when it's trapped within you, it can cause a lot of damage emotionally, even on a molecular level, because energy needs an escape. It needs an outlet. It needs to go somewhere. And so if you're keeping uh, secrets, if you're keeping mum about things that have been very difficult to deal with, I, I feel like you need to find an outlet for that and try to do it soon, okay? Um, as a fire sign, a lot of the times too, and uh, you, can, you guys can let me know if this applies to you, okay? Um, there are a lot of nightmares. If you've been keeping things in, a lot of nightmares, a lot of like... Um, I'm sensing like, you know, night terrors. I'm also sensing as well, you're very prone to fevers. You you tend to, you know, have a lot of fevers. But the good news is that, like, for example, if you have an inflammation, if you have like um, some type of, you know, like, um, I, I guess like if if you're about to get sick, right? And I feel like your body fevers over and then the next day you feel great again. So I feel like that's your, your body's defense mechanism. Okay. I, I feel that you're being sheltered. You're being protected very strongly and very, in a very divine way. However, protection protects us from things that, um, spiritual, spiritual protection helps us from, uh, protects us from things that I, I feel, you know, like once again, I, I mentioned this with Pisces. Um, so. The, the message is this, okay? You're, you're given the life that you're given because you're strong enough to live it. So I feel like in a way, spiritual protection protects you from things that they feel might not be, um, that you're, you're not, um, capable of handling at this present moment on top of everything else that's happening in your life, right? 
And so spiritual uh, protection is there on a need to, um, it's like on a, a specific cases, okay? And it's there to help you, but it's not something that you can fall back on and it's not something that you can rely on and make reckless decisions, right? And so I feel like there's a lot of pain here. There's a lot of trauma and it needs an outlet because I feel that you might be prone to night terrors if these things are not reconciled. You might be prone to fevers if you've experienced that recently, Breaking out in highs, breaking out in fevers, breaking out, like having a lot of um, weird skin conditions happening to you as a result of keeping so many things in. So it, it's going to, you know, energy needs to find an outlet. Otherwise, it's going to manifest in physical symptoms. And the first sign of manifestation, I feel, is through the skin, okay? And so having said that, let me just focus on the main message here through the terror, uh, through the tarot, excuse me. So going back, I feel night terror here. So let me just show you this card and then I'll talk about the tarot, okay? So this is like night terror. This is like having a lot of restless energy pent up at night. So you're very prone to blisters, fever, inflammations, etc. So here's the thing. You have a really big heart, Sagittarius. You have a really big heart. And uh, you have a, thankfully, you have a really, really happy-go-lucky attitude. And so you don't plan things out, you know, like you you do things like spur of the moment. And you do things in a very, um, I feel like you're, you're guided by your moral compass to do the right thing and to be exactly where you need to be, okay? So I feel like life for you is not all about planning. It's about, you know, being spontaneous and taking opportunities when they come in and doing so in a very um, lighthearted, happy-go-lucky manner. And because you're so optimistic, things always work out. You know, things always work out. And so I feel because of that, you overestimate your strength and you overestimate uh, your capability sometimes. And so my advice here is we need to make sure, we need to make sure, you know, that uh, physically that you're in best shape, mentally you're in best shape so that you can help other people. Okay. So this is kind of like spiritual renewal, spiritual cleansing, emotional renewal, emotional cleansing. So a lot of healing needs to happen from your end. I feel some of you are dealing with some physical pains right now and you need to get that uh, taken care of. Okay. So you can't just, you know, blindly say, oh, it's going to work out. It's just a temporary cramp here and there, or it's just a stomach ulcer. Um, it's not going to, you know, exacerbate into something chronic and you might leave things unchecked. So take care of yourself. Do, you know, do your body justice. Okay. Get a checkup, see what's going on. And uh, don't fear it because, you know, um, you, you need to know what you're dealing with so that you can have, you know, the proper tools to tackle it. And at the same time, without like, like once you give something a name, it allows you to um, know how to manage it. OK, so I feel like there some of us might be in denial about some health issues. And then others of us are not um, need to find an outlet for them. You need to find an outlet for them, okay? Um, what I feel, though, is emotionally, they're saying here with this Page of Cups, and because this is a spiritual advice reading, all the cards are going to pertain to you and not other people, okay? So I'm not reading this as other people. So uh, because of this card, this is the, um, it's the Princess of Cups, which is the Page of Cups. Um, it's basically telling you that there is this uh, emotional growth that needs to happen for you. And I feel it's really important for you to uh, really examine your motives, really examine, you know, what is your go to gut instinct about a situation? How does the situation make you feel? Really examine your motives, really examine your feelings. Because I feel like a lot of the times, you're very go, 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 very directed with your energy, very enthusiastic. And on top of that, you're a fire sign. So I feel that a lot of the things that you do, it's, it's kind of like, rather than filtering it through your heart, it goes straight through, you know, from your head to your hands. So that means, you know, the hands indicate actions, right? So it goes straight through the head. You, it, it goes through. You don't really take time to plan. You don't really take time to, you know, sit 
a moment and, and see like, what are some potential pitfalls? It just goes straight to your hands and you start acting. Okay. So I feel like there's a lot of action, but there needs to be a lot more reflection. And it's not a bad thing. I just feel that emotionally you need to get more in touch with your feelings and you need to really understand, you know, motives, objectives, like personal motives, personal objectives. Okay. So until we know ourselves, until we really, really know ourselves, until we understand our entire motives, until we can really, um, disseminate our, you know, ulterior motives or even our objectives. It's going to create challenges in our relationship. So until you really know yourself well, um, the relationship sector, you might encounter people who are also very lost, you know, where you're seeing each other through a mirror. You're like this, so you attract people who are also like that. So if you lack self-awareness, Sagittarius, I feel that you're going to also attract people who are themselves lacking in self-awareness. They might behave in a way that, um, you know, that, that, that portrays them a specific way. But if they're lacking in that self-awareness, their actions and their words don't really match up. Okay. So I feel like if you've been having trouble in that regards, I feel that it's a, a moment, take a moment to really get to know yourself, get to know your motives, and especially give voice, give an outlet to these repressed pains, repressed angers. Just release them, okay? You know, you, you try to be fair. You, you, you really try to be fair with this person. But I feel like they're very defensive. They're kind of like confrontational. And uh, the way that they they communicate, it feels to me like it's it's very inappropriate. It might be like unprofessional, um, or just very inappropriate, and it rubs you the wrong way. And uh, one of the thing that I feel happening here is that I I just don't feel like there's a lot of compatibility. And you might be like, I don't know why I just that person just rubs me the wrong way. So when we interact with another person, and you know, maybe there's some astrological reasons why you're not compatible with that person. So you could be, you know, a, a Sagittarius, they could be a Gemini, which is exactly your polar opposite. So it might not the messages they deliver the way they deliver it and the way they talk and, and you know, their demeanor, their mannerism, their attitude, it just might not jive well with you. So the thing here is, you know, just pretend, okay, if you're interacting with another person, um, think about the message that is being delivered rather than the way it is being delivered. If for some reason you can't figure out why this person just rubs you the wrong way, uh, ra detach the person from the message, okay, and and see what you would do it, or if you would do anything differently. So I feel like there has been this uh, ongoing conflict. And um, I also feel that people are supportive of you in what you're doing. And they might have also told you, yes, that the other person's in the wrong. But I feel like, you know, one of the major lessons that we learn from other people who are especially very different from us is how to compromise, how to put ourselves in the other person's shoes and to not assume that we're automatically right, even though we very well could be and other people are telling us that we are, but to try to really understand things from the other person's point of view. So I feel like that's what's happening. And uh, I feel like they're very defensive because I feel like they try to approach you a few times. And um, it seems like some of you might have been busy. So you might have behaved in a way that they thought was very dismissive of their needs, of their concerns. And I feel like the, the tension, you know, it started like from one small incident of misunderstanding. And then it just... Um, got bigger. So I feel like you're dealing with the tail end of it. And it's really important for you to state your case and to really, you know, try to um, understand where they're coming from and try to detach that person, that entity from the message that they're trying to get across. Okay, I feel like that's going to be helpful for you. Um, I feel for a lot of you, there are many celebrations happening for you guys for um, this, the second half of this month. And um, I feel I feel almost like, you know, um, for women, I feel like, you know, having a girl's night out, um, dealing with friends, dealing with like even children, um, having like just a really good time overall where people are coming through to visit you. Um, there's like opportunities to meet up with people, whining, dining, and just going out and just having a really good time. I also feel as well, um, what I'm, I'm sensing here is, um, I, I feel that some of you 
if you've had some type of like um, legal battle in the past, I do sense that you're going to be signing some documents. Okay, it's almost like they have some documents, they lay it in front of you, and then you have to read it over to make sure it's um, it's compliant. But you also have to make sure that you know the the facts match up. And then I see you like signing these documents to make sure that everything. And then I feel like the the person. You're, it could be like a legal counsel or somebody who is like a, an official uh, authority figure or like an official person in a an authority capacity. So like an official person, like a notary person or even like a lawyer or even somebody who is a representative of some institution. They lay all the paper in front of you and I feel like you're looking at it, making sure all the facts match up, making sure that it's actually telling your version of the story and then I feel like you're going to be signing them and you know they then they take it back and then they send it back out um so I feel like overall the energy is a little bit more um it, it's it's closure inducing is what it feels like to me so you have some communication here with that air sign and I feel like it's going to be done and over with okay um so it could be resolved in a very straightforward like you know harmonious fashion or it's just like straightforward but at the same time like less agree to disagree so I feel like you have some conclusions in that regard I feel like finances is going to be very good for you guys this month I do see a lot of people buying new things like jewelry home decor um I'm I'm seeing like flowers as well. So for those of you who are out and dating, I feel like you're going to either receive flowers or, you know, just get like flowers for your significant other or for somebody that you're dating. So little gifts and trinkets, I feel like that's coming through. And I feel like um, that's coming through from friends, from children, and also from significant other and uh, people that you're dating too. So I see like a little, like a lot of little cute, um, appreciative gestures coming through from other people. Okay. So let that one, you know, the air sign, if you've had problems with them, just let it go because I feel like it's a very, very short snippet. But either way, I feel like things are going to be um very swiftly concluded and then you're not going to have to deal with this problem in the future okay you might have to deal with them but i feel like the problem is being laid to rest okay 